All right, thanks, Candace. Well, everyone should have access to healthy food. It is a right, not a privilege. That's the mission behind Kids Food Basket, the organization celebrating 20 years of filling bellies and changing lives. We're helping them celebrate, and you can too. This morning, we're joined by Kids Food Basket CEO Bridget Clark Whitney, her beautiful daughter, and Jeff Costello. He's with Eastbrook Homes. Good morning to all of you. Thanks so much for being here. Good, Good morning. morning. Good Thanks morning. for having us. Oh, well, so, Bridget, let's start with Kids Food Basket 20 years. This is a big deal. Tell us where you've gone and how far you've come to this point. Yes, thank you, you know, it is such an honor. And the only reason that we've been able to show up every day for 20 years, ensuring kids and families in our community have access to healthy, nourishing food is because of community, right? Every day, community says yes. Every day, hundreds of volunteers join us to pack meals, deliver meals, harvest food off the farm, right? It is because of the power and the fuel of community sponsors like Eastbrook Homes, right? Our, our community sponsors like Fox 17, who come together and say, we want to make sure our kids have the healthy food they need so that our kids can learn in school, reach their full potential. And good food is the foundation of good health. Good health is the foundation of a good future. All of our kids, all of our families deserve that. So we started 20 years ago serving kids in three schools. We were serving about 125 meals a day. And now we are serving 9,500 meals awesome. each and every weekday throughout the school year and the summer. We also have an extensive education program. We go into all the schools that we're serving. We teach kids about where healthy food comes from, what it does for our bodies, how to grow their own healthy food. We have two chemical-free sustainable farms where we're growing beautiful healthy produce and a great community engagement program where we're working with community in all four counties to ensure that we're understanding the barriers of poverty, but making sure that all of our families have access to healthy food consistently. Now, as we celebrate 20 years, um, there's another way community can get involved and help. You guys have a lofty goal this yeah. month. We sure <laughs> do. We sure do. You know, it's a, a play on the 20 years. So um, with 200,000 decorated bags by the end of September for Brown Bag Decorating Month. And Eastbrook Homes is our amazing sponsor for this event. We're really excited about it because, you know, as people are back in person, decorate bags at your office, decorate bags at your at your faith community, right? Decorate bags with your family after dinner. Maddie decorates bags with her friends in, in their classroom <laughs> after lunch. Like, it is just a great way to come together and, and share love, right? Like, every single bag makes a difference. Teachers tell us all the time, the first thing that kids do when they get their meal is they look to see whether or not that bag has been decorated. Everyone makes a difference. Yeah, absolutely. And Jeff, tell us why Eastbrook Homes decided to jump on board uh, with this campaign with Kids Food Basket. Yeah, we've been involved with uh, uh, Kids Food Basket. If you can tell, she has a little bit of passion. <laughs> yeah, a little so bit. So <laughs> Mick McGraw, the owner of our company, is the same way. And so he just said it was a natural fit between he and Bridget uh, and the things that she does and the things that we do. So we're really excited. We're always excited to be uh, involved with Bridget and Kids Food Basket, uh, the decorating the bags and different things like that. So if everybody goes on our website, looks at the website, eastbrookhomes.com, that's where you want to take a peek at. Uh, our open house hours, uh, the bags will be all there, so come on out. Even if you're not buying a house, it's okay. Come on out, decorate four or five different bags, six bags, ten bags. How many bags? 200 bags? 200,000 bags? 200,000 <laughs> bags. I decorated my bag already today, so I'll show that to you here in a second. Uh, but it's, it's, it's such a great event. We're so excited to constantly be involved with Kids Food Bastic. It is truly one of our favorite charities. Yeah, absolutely. And so you can go be a voyeur, check out some new homes, and decorate bags all at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah, there please do. Yeah, all we right. look forward to it. And, and we're all kind of working together. Um, we've got a really fun thing coming up starting tonight yes. at our Blitz game. Um, tell us, you guys are partnering with us on this. What are we doing? Uh, we're doing a variety of different things with regards to it. Uh, it's, you know, let, I'll let Bridget tell. You go ahead and okay. run with it. We've got these amazing partnerships with the football games. Well, and so at the football games, like what better way is to get, I mean, you're, you're so much energy, so much positive energy at these football games. And so we're in, encouraging the crowds to join us. Deck takes five minutes, decorate a few bags, make days, right? But then also like harness that energy to, to, to share with community. And I think that that's really important because now that people are back in person, we're excited about being in this beautiful weather too, as we were just talking about about this is a way that you know as we're gathering together we can do good for community right well and because you have a bunch of schools on board already yes. decorating we're just kind of putting up a tent we're going to the games we're gonna be at Rockford tonight yes game, first Thursday one night yes yep. supposedly 6,000 people there's the full schedule Oop, on the screen it just went away as I said that um, but yeah tonight at Rockford we'll have a yep. tent you can come and decorate bags there as well um, but yeah you have 
how many schools are involved right now and for Brown Bag Decorating Week? Yes, for Brown Bag Decorating Week, at least 25 schools are okay. involved, which wow. is fantastic. We've got high schools, we've got grade schools, and then we've got schools like Maddie School where they're decorating bags every day, like right after lunch, right? Coming together, getting the kids to understand that they're, we're all connected. We're all connected. And, and when they're decorating bags, you're decorating bags for your neighbors, right? And that is so important. Right here in West Michigan, we're serving four counties, Kent County, Muskegon County, Ottawa County, and Allegan County. So this is staying right here in our community, which is really more important than ever. There's so much need right now. We have dozens of schools on our wait list for services. And so something like decorating bags, it is just a way, again, to create awareness that we're all connected, that we can show up for one another, we can show up for our neighbors, and we can really share that love, which I think right now in this world is more important than ever. Absolutely. And it is such an easy thing to do. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see your I decorated a bag for yes. everyone. So there you go. I got my bag. So go blue. Go blue. Go there you blue. go. I, I'm 100% behind that. And if people want to decorate bags, if they want to drop them off, yes. they can do that. Absolutely. All month long at Kids Food Basket at one of our three locations. Addresses are available on the website. And then on September 27th, we're having a pop-up event on at our Kent County location, our headquarters. We have food trucks. We have music. We have opportunities for people to come together with their friends, their family, their faith community, their schools, etc. Come on down. Decorate some bags. It's going to be a really great opportunity just to get connected. We've also got loads of volunteer opportunities right now, okay. especially with produce just exploding out of the farm. First day of September. It's a real need right now. We have needs for volunteers to help us come and har harvest that produce. I just saw the green beans yesterday. They're like this long. <laughs> they need to be picked so there they can go. fit in sack supper bags. So if you've got two hours of time, an hour of time to help us out, check out the website and uh, come on down. All right, wonderful. Maddie, thank you so much for being here with us today. And Bridget, Jeff, thank you so thank much. You. We, of course, will have all of that information, a lot of, lot to digest um, on our website, but you can also, of course, go to kidsfoodbasket.org right there on your screen.